Aisha Buari releases pictures of the first ever wedding held in Asu Rock Villa. The first lady of Nigeria, Aisha Buari, released the wedding pictures of her daughter Hanan and her husband, Surad, that took place in the Asu Rock Villa through her Instagram accounts. The wedding was supposed to be one of the best weddings in Nigeria, but the pandemic could not allow the plans of the new couple to manifest. It was reported that some guests turned down the invitation due to the pandemic. Hanan Buhari tied the knot with Surat Shaban, who is the son of a former lawmaker, Mahmoud Sani Shaban. They became the first couple since the villa, since the Aso villa was completed to be honored to wed inside it. Other past leaders have witnessed their children get married, but not none got wedded inside the villa. This honor of getting wedded in the Asu villa might be associated with the pandemic. Okay, congratulations to them. Very beautiful pictures, beautiful pictures at that. So it's a good one. Congratulations to them. So they've done it and that has already passed. Let them continue and let them go and live their life. Well, enjoy yourselves. Your time of reckoning will soon come. Soja go, soja come. Uh -uh. You all will soon pass away like a mist. The nation is unstable. You are busy conducting weddings. Nigerians are dying on a daily basis in thousands. It is not a concern, Abby. Or it is not your concern. My humble opinion. Okay, what do you want her to do? <laughs> they just have to do what they want to do. For the fact that the pandemic is ongoing, doesn't mean people will not be eating. People are eating and you cook. People are still moving. So, I think uh, they, it's, they did it in a low key. So, I don't think anybody should be blaming them. Well, people see things from a different perspective. You pray otherwise. Keep quiet, my friend. Where is the social distancing preached by the government? Some animals are more equal than the other. Where is Buari in this family photo? Ah uh ah, -uh. is Buari not there? Buari is there now. Are you not seeing him? I be the family affairs has become policies again. God Almighty has disappointed you. You wished Buari, but God uh, blessed him and had made him to prosper. Hope you are not. Ah, uh, hope you are seeing very well. Buari is in that picture. This is the reason that Aisha Buari lied to Nigerians that she went to Buari to trick neck pain. After all, she went shopping for marriage of her daughter. She came back again to tell a stupid tale of how she, their plane nearly crashed to avoid media scrutiny. Mm -hmm. The most corrupt regime or in, in history. Wow, this is lovely. Happy married life, Surat and Hanan. God will bless your new home in Jesus' name. Congratulations. Congratulations. May Almighty God continue to bless and keep your family. Mr. President, you are blessed. Uh, congratulations to you guys. Uh, God bless your new home. Congratulations, may Allah and Almighty God bless the marriage in Jesus' name. There's always a line drawing, drawn among families and individuals that the patience of God cannot go. Nigerians have been crying and dying day after day from hunger and insurgency and you are busy eating bread of sorrow and celebrating god is not a man watch out exhibiting this high profile affluence why majority of nigerians are grappling with poverty and disease it's not true the wedding of Oshibaju's daughter was done in the villa and the wedding of aisha's younger brother was also done in the villa like seriously okay uh wish them the best Norma developments are nothing special congratulations he will find a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the lord hmm. now congratulations to happy married life congratulations where well, congratulations i'm wishing them a happy married life okay the spirit of unity in this marriage that made it possible to be get to get hooked to each other help them to be beautiful to each other where are their face marks Okay, congrats. Beautiful. Wish you guys happy new home. Of course, there's nothing anybody can wish them than to wish them happy, you know, to ha wish them happiness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> to wish them happiness. But some people are just, you know, some people are bitter, some people are pained. And, you know, there, there was this a conflicting story that the 
president's wife went to Dubai for for medical treatment. Oh, they came back again. Oh, nothing is wrong with her. Oh, we see her that oh she went for sh shopping and all of that. Oh, all of those things will not be unconnected to that because when she came back, she even talked about it. Oh, the how the government should pay attention to our medical service so that people will not be wasting money. So what are we talking about? So it is not really rumor. That means she attested to the fact that she went for treatment. Whether the treatment was just a minute one, they are trying to play pranks or play tricks on Nigerians. But what's what really went wrong was that whether it was for sickness or for anything, why would they leave the country when everything was on lockdown, where there was no need, where there was no the, uh, the, the lockdown concerning international flights has not been lifted? That is what we are talking about. The, that is the hypocrisy we are talking about. Of course, maybe she must have gone to do shopping, but she came back uh, stating the fact, that the fact that it is good for the government to pay attention to our medical system instead of letting nigerians to be wasting money outside the country but you guys have wasted a lot of money then you continue to advise other people not to do that but when it comes to you you guys will go you see who is going to take them serious don't even forget that all of these uh, things that they are even putting up just to make it seem as if oh yes yeah, so i'm talking i'm talking i'm talking nobody knows and nobody to be trusted in this country as far as we are concerned, nobody is to be trusted because once they are telling you one thing, forget it that they are doing something else. They are doing something else. That is what we have really found out that these people are all doing. Use your money for your daughter. Nothing lasts forever. Happy married life, dear sister. Those singing rubbish should go and walk around somewhere because someone whose political post should not do good things again. A particular wedding I attended on Thursday was 50 times elaborated than this. What can one say about the wedding of the rich? You've celebrated your wedding while Nigerians are suffering. I'm sure it soon are. Why would somebody say that? Just like somebody said, <laughs> for the fact that you are holding a public office, doesn't mean that they don't have their, their own life. The only thing they will not escape from is the publicity. You can't say you want to do something privately. To, at least to a very large extent, you can't do it. That is the only thing I know. As a public figure, you can say, oh, nothing, everything you do, it must come to the public. But that does not mean that they will not have their own life. Think people should get that. They have their own life to live. So they will, they will, and they even try because it's not even like we had a lot of people turn down the invitation. And from what we were, it was not even really a, an elaborate uh, wedding because we were, they've been saying it and a lot of people are not really paying attention. We didn't even know that they even done it. Not until when the 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 mother the wife of the president started posting all this picture who no one would have even known and they just um you know it was just on a low key so guys leave your comment below and let us know what you think